All right, so I'm Dr. Amanda Smith, and I'm going to show you how to utilize Google Forms to create a silent auction. So first you go to your drive, you go to the new button, more Google Forms, and we kept it pretty simple. We just named, you know, item one, item two, and they had a little bit more to it. But um, one of our campuses have, has always done a silent auction as a fundraiser. And so we wanted to move it from paper and pencil walking around tables to something online where parents who couldn't come to the winter festival that was being held could still participate at home. And so we kept the question simple. We asked for their name and then we asked for their bid. Now the question comes in, well, how do they know what someone else has bid? That was the fun part. So we went into responses and we created a spreadsheet of the you know names and bids and then we linked the response sheet back into the form. So when you go into share and you get shareable link, make sure that it's not just set to your school district that anyone can view, but that it's turned on for anyone with the link can view, whether they're within your school district or not. I don't like turning on the public on the web. I wanted a little bit more control where we kept it within our area. So anyone with the link works fine for us. So then we copied the link, went back into the Google form, went back into questions. And here we utilized the title and description functions because it makes the information stand out a little bit better. So in description, we put the link and then we said, please, oh, helps me delete it all. Please click here to view bids. We move that to the top. Well, actually, on our forms, it was at the bottom, but for next year, we've learned we want it at the top because not everyone got down and saw that piece of information. And so when I go to preview it, it shows up here in this pretty purple. Please click here. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bid on something. Just, you know, fun times. And so when we go into the link to view the current bid, there I am and there's my current bid. So then the bidder who was in it trying to figure out, okay, well now I want to outbid her. So Sarah's going to do $60 spent. And so when we looked at our responses, there they were. It was immediate. The parents loved it. There was a little bit of competition going on. And, whoops, closed it all the way. Also, we utilized the image function and added pictures of uh, the items. I don't have any on my computer right now. And this is going to take a second, so I'll just put my picture on there. And you can... Um, you know, click on it and make it smaller so it's not taking up the whole screen. We had our students take pictures with the items to make it a little bit more personal. And you can also add information to the image title if you want. And so overall, that was our Google Form. I'll bring one up for you so you can see the final view. So we named it. We said, you go into the preview. So we utilized titles to make the information really stand out. We gave it a cute little um, information, who made it. We did our pictures with our students. There's our primary and then our high schoolers got involved. We asked for their information. And here's where we had clicked the link to view current bids. We are going to move this to the top next time. And then, as you saw, I just asked for their name and their bid. We had a separate Google form created so that they could fill out their phone number and email address, home address, and only the administrators saw that information, not the bidders. So that was kept private, but that way we could still contact them. And so that was just a quick way of utilizing Google form for a silent auction. The parents loved it and it was a blast and we will be doing it again next year. And I utilized Google Hangouts on air to record this because it's just, it's great. It works so well.